Custom water cooling is, is a grown up of, of computer builds. I mean, who has not gazed in front of beautifully built custom water cooled computers? Um, and, and on plus of the awesome aesthetics and looks, it is the best way to keep uh, your power hungry components, keep them at that very bottom earth temperature so you can squeeze out the most of its overclocking uh, potential. Uh, but on the downside, it does cost quite a more bit than any other cooling solutions. And yeah, it comes at significant, significant risks. Uh, a, a leak can potentially burn your entire build. So you have to know what you're doing. And so for first time custom water cooling, cooling builders out there, the easiest, most affordable and safest way to go in there uh, are through uh, all-in-one first time builder kits. And EKWB, just sent me their latest uh, version of, of, uh, of that, a classic RGB P360 complete RGB liquid cooling kit, which uh, I am going to review for my greatest pleasure and your greatest benefit. And, and that also means I'm gonna have to clip those fingers. <laughs> Our classic kit comes with about everything you'll need to get that loop started. We got an RGB 140mm reservoir pump combo, an RGB CPU water block, its Ryzen adapter, 2 meter of clear flexi tube, 6 compression fittings, a 360mm slim radiator, and frankly talking, I'm a big fan of EKWB radiators. I do believe they are the gold standard. Uh, in the industry in that domain, but I'll talk more about this later into the review. Three zero decibel high pressure fans, and please do keep your fingers away from the blades because they can go all the way up to 2200 RPM and they are not gentle to the touch. Uh, but yes, they do move a lot of hair and they're the principal cause of why EKWB is so good at keeping their loop really, really cool. Our EK Cryofuel Clear Concentrate. So of course you could go with only distilled water, but having coolant is really a plus in terms of attracting and trapping all that heat your uh, processor is, is uh, radiating away. A pump bracket holder and all the necessary RGB and PWM cable splitters that you'll need to connect the whole shabam. Now I'll start with assembling our CPU block and install the Ryzen adapter because obviously I am doing a Ryzen build today. Now make sure to put back the CPU contact plate in the same orientation that you found it. A mistake here and this will happen to you because yes, your truly did not pay attention to that orientation. Now, when tightening those uh, screws back on, finger tight will not be enough. Make sure you tighten them well. Do not break it, obviously, but give it that extra uh, wrist turn so that everything is really sealed and packed together. The Reservoir Pump Combo is one of uh, EKWB strong points in this kit. I love the new see-through design. It gives that uh, expensive, really cool look somewhat as like a jewel or a diamond shining and all that stuff. So I really, really liked it. Next, we are going to mount our EVO fans onto the radiator and I'm gonna put them into a push configuration, meaning that side of the fan side up and that will help us uh, getting all that hot radiating hair out of the case. It is really important that you get that uh, a fan direction, right? But anyways, this is an RGB kit with RGB fans. So just make sure that the RGB are visible and you'll be fine. This is a delicate part where we are going to tube and connect all the components together. Now, if you have never done anything like that, it's not that complex. Just take your compression fitting, remove the ring and fit the tube onto the barb. Now, you'll need quite a bit of pressure for it to fit onto the barb. It's very, very, very tight, which give that water sealed uh, a quality to it. But if you really are struggling, a bit of hot water and soap uh, never uh, uh, fails. So take your time and make sure that you did pre-measure everything before you start cutting. Those rather short two meter of tubing, they really go very fast, even on a single loop. I'm going to start by linking input water blocks to the radiator, then the CPU output to the pump input, and finally the pump output to the radiator. Yetter, and voila. But obviously you would never start 
a loop on the live system. So we're gonna use this short uh, to put on our power supply unit ATX24 plug, which will allow us to start the pump uh, without powering any of our components. So the first thing you need to know is to never use tap water or mineral water in a custom water cooling loop. Um, water comes usually with a bunch of impurities or minerals which are electrically conductive. And that is what will short your motherboard in case of a leak. Uh, deionized or demineralized water has no impurity or minerals so if there is a leak your, your components is more safe and less likely to get damaged. Make sure to put some water in the reservoir before starting your pump. You do not want to run a pump without water. You'll, you'll burn it, you'll break it, so you don't want to do that. Also be ready to switch everything off in the case an obvious leak appears which if I may remind you, was my case. It's, I, I like to keep the loop turning uh, for a couple of hours before powering any of the components because it's just the right amount of time uh, for the water to work through any kind of openings in your loop. Um, so yeah, do your leak test. Once you're completed with that, then and only then uh, would I remove the power uh, short and plug the motherboard and everything which goes with it. But what are the day-to-day -day performance gain uh, of a custom water cooling system? So just for the fun of it, I've overclocked my 3600X to about 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz and, and uh, run a stress test at stock clock and at overclock uh, to give us a good idea. And at no time did I see the processor going beyond 70 or 71 degrees Celsius in overclock configuration, which is absolutely amazing because AMD processors or video card are always a bit warmer than Intel's and having something at 70 degrees Celsius around that temps is, is pure luxury, especially knowing that my stress test did uh, last for a couple of hours, actually three hours, and it was absolutely reliable and constant in its temperatures. And that's anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees Celsius lower that uh, the temperatures you would achieve with an air cooling solution. So yeah, uh, pretty drastic. Now on the aesthetics, of course I have tested the RGBs with Aura Sync Effect, Fusion, Mystic and ASRock Polychrome and it all worked perfectly and synced with all the different compatible components uh, through your build. And the last thing I want to cover are the fans. They, they are um, advertised to be zero decibel I'm not going to say uh, they are, co if you go full speed, you will hear them quite clearly. But right now they are uh, idle, like they're, they're running like about 800 or no, even like a thousand RPM. And I'm going to try to make you hear what they sound like. Which is pretty good because when you're going for custom water cooling system, one of the main reasons is also to have a quiet system. So yeah, kudos to EKWB uh, for good looking, performant and almost completely silent fans. So yeah, overall, it's an easy, uh, straightforward process. Do not be intimidated by the custom water cooling factor. You know, the first time I did one of those, I, I kind of froze a few times. I was literally petrified uh, the first time I had to turn on my loop. But you know, if, if you go slow and follow the instructions, and you know, if you want to go back on the video and pause it, this is how you do it right. Um, now, despite, um, Custom water cooling being somewhat of an enthusiast frontline, at about 350 US dollars before taxes, um, this particular, particular kit, the EKWB uh, Classic RGB P360, delivers a product which really balances well, at least in my opinion, the ease of installation, uh, the safety of operation, and affordability, the budget side of things. So if you really want to go ahead with upgrading your computer with a custom water cooling loop and get this extra performance level you're looking for, this is where your money needs to be.